Hello everyone and welcome to my yearly progress video in my French coloring books where I'm going to show you all my completed pages in my Hachette Heroes books. This is only the second video in the series because I only started coloring in November 2021 so technically you're gonna see all the images that I have done so far. Um, this includes the ones that I have already shown in the first video so this video is gonna be as complete as possible. So, we're going to start with Le Grand Classique, Tome 1, the very first of the main books. And I did Tinkerbell. I did this very beautiful couple image of Lady and the Tramp. I did this guy from A Bug's Life. I did Jafar. Those were some of the earliest images that I have done. And I did them all in acrylic paint. This is from Prada Bear. This is from um, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Then we have... Huh, what's her name again? Esma, I think, from um, Kingdom for a Llama. Then Jim Hawkins from Treasure Planet. Mushu from Mulan. I love the color combination in this image. And the most recent completed page is this guy here that I have actually never seen before because I didn't watch Monsters, Inc., but this is apparently the villain. So those were all completed pages in the first tome. Then we have Le Grand Classique Tome 2. Since I haven't marked any pages... Yes, it is only this very first image here that I have created of one of the cute little child characters in Robin Hood. And I have a whip here. Um, in contrast to the first video, I'm not going to show you any whips unless they are like the page next to a completed one because then that video would be way too long. So in the third one, Le Grand Classique Tome 3, I have... This double page done of Elsa and Anna. Again, it's uh, acrylic paint. I did it with a brush. I used metallic paint for the background here for Elsa and just a normal matte paint for Anna here. So only those pages done in here. And then in the sixth tome, I have done... This one here, this is a character from Brother Bear. Her name escapes me right now, I'm sorry. And then I have also done this one here, the little mouse from Dumbo. And this is actually done in color pencils. I think it was Kalur. I usually switch in these books when I use colored pencils between Brutfuna, Kalur, and Prismacolor pencils. Then in the Mickey, Donald and Co, I have also done the very first two pages here, which are only in black and, not black and white, and in gray tones. The other images are a lot more colorful, I just haven't gotten to them yet. So again, only two images done. I really need to complete more pages in these books. Then in Mickey and Friends, this is a very detailed book. I completed one image here. This is rather detailed. That's why I attempted it in colored pencils. Because it would be really excruciating to get all these fine details with a brush. At least for me. So I use pencils. Then in the chien et chien, which means dogs and puppies, another instance where I simply completed the very first double page. And in case you're wondering why this thin paper is in here, it's so the acrylic paint doesn't stick together, because that was a nasty experience that I did when I started working, that when I wanted to open the book, the pages stuck together, and it really harmed the finished page. So yeah, I'm not going to do that again putting a paper in there. So in this book, uh, what is it? Chat et Filin. So it's cats and felines. I have done Sarabi here. Pretty simple image, not a lot of detail, not a lot of shading, but I really like the result, the way it looks in opaque acrylic paint. Then in the Bestiaire, this was a bit of an experiment. 
I used gouache actually. And the thing with gouache, in contrast to acrylic paint, is it reactivates. So once acrylic paint is dry, it's dry. But once gouache is dry and you touch it again with your moist brush, it will reactivate. So it's actually quite difficult to work very close in these areas and have like um, straight lines separating the color. So yeah, I'm not going to do that again. When I work in this book again, it will be either with acrylic paint or with colored pencils. Then in the rather also quite detailed love stories, this is a rather recent image that I completed of 101 Dalmatians. So that, that's why I chose color pencils, because doing all these details here with a brush, yeah, that would have been pretty exhausting. Then in the Michon, the villain's book, I have done this one. This is another recent one. If you have seen my completed pages videos where I explained that, unfortunately, I picked the wrong colors. This should have been the lighter part and this should have been the dark part. And it, basically, I switched it. But it's still okay. It's still a, a page done, right? So it counts towards progress. Then in the Sous l'Océan, I did the very first image here. This was, again, colored pencils. I think it was Calure and uh, acrylic paint for the border. And yeah, I really burnished. This is... that was violent. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be a bit more careful in the future, especially when you have to color on the other page. So that was just the first page. Doesn't matter, but next time I have to be more careful. In the princesses one, I did Cinderella here in either Brute Funers or Kalur, I don't really remember, but that's colored pencils because, again, it's a very detailed book. And another recent finish that you might have seen if you watch my completed pages videos here of Mulan, again in colored pencils to get all the details right. Then we have the Vitro. I love this one. And I finished this one from Aristocats. It's done in colored pencils and an acrylic paint pen for some outlining. Because this book has no outlines and it looks a little um, hard to distinguish the characters from the background sometimes. So adding a bit of a line art makes the image pop. This is Stumbo and I used, I think it was Pascas. Yes, I used the glitter pascas for the background and the border here. And this is another recent one. Elsa and Anna as children. Again, colored pencils, acrylic paint pen for the outlines, acrylic paint for the border. This border here, not that. <laughs> so yeah, three images done in vitro. Then in the Tronle. Heroes versus Michon, the heroes versus villains. I have only one, and it's Jafar. And I picked a very light skin tone, and he looks like he has vitamin deficiency, but yeah. And the background was actually done in acrylic paint pens to get all the, the shapes right. And Jafar himself was done with paint and a brush. So, one image done in here. Then in the portraits, this is also a recent one. It's Lady. When I went through all the books to find the pages, I really, really wanted to work more in these books. But these pages actually take quite some time because, yeah, I just work rather slowly with a brush. So, but I think the outcome is worth it. I really like that the paint covers up the lines and numbers. Makes the image look more like a complete illustration. So here we have uh, sc scuttle, Scuttles from Ariel. Just being funny. Yeah. <laughs> then in the Grand Classique Circle. Oh yeah, this is one of the ones where I just started from the beginning. So this was actually, I think, the very, very first image I ever completed in one of the Hachette books, and it was with colored pencils. 
And then I started ooh, working with acrylic paint. The Jiminy Cricket. This was my very first completed acrylic paint image. And you can see that it's kind of streaky because I didn't really uh, know how many layers I would have to add and how exactly how to work with the paint. And yeah, it's not perfect. Here we have Mickey. We have Bambi and her mom. We have Dumbo flying with his big ears. We have that guy. I think it's this is this from a cartoon from the 40s, I think very early. Never seen this before, but I like the color combination. Ooh. Then we have Maleficent in her dragon form. This is another pretty old cartoon. And we have the fairy godmother and this is already the last image done in here. So yeah, this is like 10 from 100, 10 of 100 pages completed and it's one of the books I work the most in. So yeah, there are so many pages I have to do to, you know, at least get somewhere to actually call this progress in the baby circles. I also worked from the beginning. Those are also very early images. These were a bit of a pain in the butt, you know, working with a brush. I do like the ones with the big circles. The pixelated ones are, eh, you know. Oh yeah, this one turned out way too dark. I tried to match the colors as closely as I could. I even mixed them, but uh, this turned out way too dark. Maybe one day when I'm actually finished with a book, maybe I will go through it and page by page correct all the things that I feel like are kind of off with it. But I'm probably going to do that when I'm in retirement. <laughs> when you consider how long it's going to take... To finish that. Oh, this is actually still a whip. I haven't uh, whited out the background here. So yeah, this is the last completed image in here. Then we have the Tronlay Grand Bloc. This is also a recent image of Marion from Robin Hood. Really love how she turned out. She looks so cute. I like the purple and pink color combo. Then we have the Pixar, and I have two images in here, and it's, what's his name, Mordu, Mordu, the, the bad bear guy from uh, Brave. And because I burnished so hard with the color pencils, it's quite reflective, but yeah, that's him. And then I also have... Joy again in acrylic paint. The background is black and I made the border black, so yeah, but I think it makes her really pop. Really like this image. She's so cute. And then the non Disney Looney Tunes one. I did the first two images here, both with colored pencils. I will probably work completely with colored pencils in this book because this is one of the more Detailed ones, as you can see, detailed complex images with a large color palette. Oh, there is some shaving from the, what do you call it? Eraser. So yeah, that was the Looney Tunes. And that was all of the Disney ones. And now start the non-Disney ones. So in the 50 Coloriage Mister mini block... I have this one, and this is actually done with acrylic paint pens because the page was so small. This winter landscape, also done with paint pens. Then this B, this was actually done, hmm, it was, I think it was both brush and pens because the white is definitely done with a brush. I can see that. I really like the color combination of that. And then we have this lavender field here. And this bridge. I really like how the red pops with the gray and the green. So we have next the cuties. I also just worked in order in this one. This was also paint pens. 
This was done with a brush and a paint. You can just see the difference. You, it just looks more flowy. <laughs> Is that a word? I don't know. Yeah, but I think you can see the difference when you work with a brush and when you work with acrylic paint pens. And I think the cat is the last completed one in here. Yes, so many more pages to do in these ones. Then in this one, I have the Bonjour, the very first page. I'm not too enthusiastic about these uh, messages, but I have all the Hachette books. So I'm also eventually going to do the messages ones. Oh yeah, and here it's these puzzle horses. It's a funny image. I like the color combination. Then in the Bebe Animo, the very first one, this here is done in colored pencils. I think it was Kalur. Then in the Mystère, 50 Coloriage Inedi. Inedi means new, so this is one of the newer blocks. And I did this sunset with the buffalo silhouette. And now, ugh, all the big non-Disney books. Oiseau. This is one of the books that I have worked the most in, but I only finished three pages. Also very early works. So you have these flamingos here. I like the purple background really pop with their reddish colors then i have this bird i have no idea what kind of bird that is i'm not an all or how do you call it in english ornithologist in german you say ornithologe i think it's it's almost the same in english and i have made this owl and then i just have a lot of finished backgrounds. I actually made an effort and flipped through all of the books that I've shown in the very first video, but not going to do that. And I mean, whips are not that interesting, right? Often it's just a background or just a portion, a small portion of the image. So I'm going to stick to just showing you the completed ones from now on. And in this one... Oh, wait, what did I say? Uh... How much coloriage mystère in a deed? So I did this flowery one, the acrylic paint. Then in the vice versa, I have all the way back here this Native American making some smoke signs. So this is one of the trolley where you have one image that shows up and then when you color it it turns into another image i really like these and then in the other vice versa i did the lighthouse really like this one love how the oh see sometimes that happens like when you have paint on both sides and it sticks together but i can correct that let's just not look at it <laughs> I, I really like the blue and the red it's a nice contrast I'm running out of things to say about these images. <laughs> in Petit Animaux Mignon, which means some of like baby animals. You can't really see it's a baby, but it's this clownfish. And I this was a pretty experimental image. I used some matte acrylic paint. I used some uh, glossy acrylic paint. And I actually mixed some glitter into the black part here. So, yeah, I don't know if I am going to do that again, but it's page done. <laughs> Oh, my back is starting to hurt. <laughs> then in the topic, I did the very last image. Wee! And it's this one. Pretty random, but yeah. I think I did this image because it had this large part of a teal background. It looks pretty blue on camera, but it's actually a tealish color. Then in the... Coloriage Mystère Fantastique by Jeremy Maries. This is original artwork that he did. I think it's mostly fan art for games. Um, and some original stuff. I think I spied some Warcraft fan art, but I'm actually not sure. Actually, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm gonna shut up. But here is a finished image of this pretty lady. And this was a forever whip because it was excruciating to do. <laughs> It's done in acrylic paint pens because heck is that stuff detailed in here, but I recommend beautiful book. If you're thinking about getting some of these books, 
I recommend this one. If you don't mind all the details, though. Then in the Fela, oh, this book is so beautiful, and I only have one completed image in it, which is a shame. And it's this one of this lion couple. He's giving her a kiss or a wash or whatever, but they're being cute. I love how the, the teal background and the pink tongue and, and ground really stand out. Really like this image. I think this is one of my favorites still, even though it's pretty old. But hey, I had an opportunity to show it again, so that's good. <laughs> then in the Saucier, I have a lot of whips in that. I'm not going to show you them. But I'm going to show you this finished one, which is this witch silhouette flying in front of the moon. Yep. I don't know how well you can see that, but the background is a very dark blue. Then you have the black branches and a black frame. I like this image. Then we have oh, the dragons and unicorns. One dragon and licorne. My French being kind of meh. And here we have this rather recent one. I did it with Koei Noor. Those are some funny colored pencils because when you burnish them, they leave a lot of texture. So, yeah. But hey, it's a page done, right? And basically, it's just an image of a shirt. So it doesn't really matter how it turns out. It's done. Then, the mandala one. I have... So this is what this this was interesting because this is colored pencils and this is acrylic paint pen and I wanted to have a double page with both supplies to see which I like better and yeah obviously at least for me obviously the acrylic paint pens have won but sometimes sometimes I just like to work with colored pencils in here and this is the third and last one also done with acrylic paint pens because it's very detailed Oh, then in the nature one, I kind of got burned out with this book. I worked so much in this in the beginning of when I got these books and I haven't worked in it for like a year or something. I don't know. But yeah, those are oh, very <laughs> sticky acrylic paint. Uh, very early images, so they're not, they're just what they are. Yeah. I think the camera view is actually... Uh, complimenting <laughs> so with this on the water view oh i just noticed i actually haven't given those images the black borders i have to go back in and do that yeah we have some still life in here bananas apples and a yummy bird ah <laughs> uh, this is a whip but this is finished, so... Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so for some reason, I didn't do this one. So this is still a whip. And those were actually the both the very first images that I did in this book. This one was with water-based uh, pens. And you can see it's very streaky. I might go over that with acrylic paint. This one is done in colored pencils. I'm gonna leave that because I like it. Again, water-based pens. Mm -hmm. Not my favorite, and I think that was it with the completed pages. Again, lots of whips and started pages in here, but not gonna show that. Then in the Trombinoscope, I did the very last image, the 100th image, and it's King Arthur. I don't know who the actor is, I haven't seen that installation of the franchise, but yeah done with colored pencils and oh my god people we're done this is the last one it's the ocean and i did this polar bear here in colored pencils this is an image that is not too detailed i could have done it with acrylic paint but i just felt like working with colored pencils so that was the last image that that were all the images that I managed to finish in uh, these books. I own all the Hachette books, the color by number ones, and I still have a lot of them that are not touched at all. As you can see, my progress per book is pretty poor, so I really need to work more in these books. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. 
Tell me down in the comments if you also love this book so much and what I would love to see actually is more people doing videos like that where they only show their Hachette completed pages so we can all gush about these books more. Have a wonderful day, maybe see you in the next one. Bye!